In this video, we will show you how to add pre and post conditions to your automation test scripts. Preconditions are the actions that need to be executed before the actual steps of the script, while post conditions are the actions that are executed after the actual automation steps. There are three ways to add pre and post conditions within the test script. At the root module level, at the module level, and at the script level. To add pre and post conditions, at the root module level, expand the tree view, and locate the root module. Click on the root module, and you will see a tab labeled settings. Click on the settings tab to access the pre post conditions page. Begin adding the preconditions by clicking on the plus precondition button. It's worth noting that only step groups can be added as pre and post conditions. Use the search bar to find the desired step group and select it. After selecting the step group, users have the option to cascade the preconditions. By cascading the preconditions at the root level, the condition will automatically apply to all subsequent modules and automation scripts. This eliminates the need to set up pre and post conditions individually for each script. Click on the Add button to add your step group as a precondition. Now, to set up post conditions, click on the Post Conditions tab and follow the same process again. To confirm if the conditions have cascaded, open any automation test script from the root module. You will notice that the pre and post condition have already been added to the automation test script. To illustrate the process of adding pre and post conditions on a module level, navigate to the desired module and select it. Access the settings tab as instructed earlier to configure the pre and post conditions. Select the step group from the search bar. At the module level, there is again an option for cascading, which automatically applies the conditions to subsequent automation scripts within the module. Click on the add button to include the step group as a precondition. Repeat the same process for post conditions. Users also have the ability to configure conditions at the individual automation script level. To do this, select the automation script. Click on the settings drop down and choose the pre post condition option. Add the desired step groups for the preconditions. Similarly, select the desired step group for the post conditions. By following this process, you will successfully establish pre and post conditions at the script level. In conclusion, we have showcased three distinct approaches for adding pre and post conditions, that is, at the root module level, at the module level, and at the script level. Thanks for watching this video. For more information, visit www.fireflink.com and schedule a free demo today.